Hi guys, it's Ray with Ray's Turquoise Turtle. Today I am going to pour this Artist Palette mold that I got. I'm going to start with a thin clear layer. And I didn't measure my mold, so... And this resin is pretty thick. Um, but I mixed up extra, I'm sure. Um, it's fine. I have other molds handy so I'm trying that um, super clear epoxy tabletop epoxy I got from Amazon for this one and I'm not gonna want to put any heat to this mold because this is one of those thinner, just white molds. So, and I'm gonna be doing this in multiple layers all at once though. So, I think I may spritz it and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't affect the curing. Some resins can handle it, some can't. I'm just going to give it a gentle spritz. I didn't warm the resin before I mixed it because it being a new resin to me, I don't know how it'll handle it. So I'm kind of trying to see how much is in there. I did level this, but it sort of still feels off level. So I'm going to give it a little bit more. All right, so what I think I wanted to do with this one is add some of those flowers I dried myself. So I'm going to use some of that Queen Anne's lace that I dyed and dried. And I'm gonna use the bottom of the mold as the front side. So I'm going to flip them over. See, there's always a prettier side and a less than pretty side, or less prettier side. And I'm going to use some of that purple loose strife as well. This I also picked and dried. Over here so I'm gonna grab my tray of goodies and grab a little one and I do just have a little tiny piece And I have all of these ferns that I picked at our camp and dried as well. So I'm going to try and put a couple of these little guys in here. They're not exactly flat though, so I don't know if they'll flatten out a bit once they are in the resin, I hope. It's the last time we were up there in the fall, so. And one more little one over here. That's a seed. I don't necessarily want in there or that little bit that I splattered there. Okay. So I think that's it for greens. I'm going to take the mixing stick and lay this one out a bit. Get 
flatten down. The weight of the resin alone should hold it in place. So, okay. So, I'm going to do a little bit of mica and a little bit of alcohol ink swirled on the backside in the clear. So I'm going to use this um, Pearl X Pearl White mica powder. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that in a medicine cup. And I'm going to use Cool Perry because I'm going for like lighter plays on the colors I already have. So I'm going to use Cool Perry ink and I'm going to use Cloudy Blue. I'm just going to add a little bit of resin to each cup. The inks will be translucent. The uh, mica will be a little bit solid. And I'm just going to pour the rest of this cup over the top. I don't want the colors overtaking. I want it to be mostly clear. So I thought this mold would be fun for a gift for anybody that's artistic. And like I said, I do have more mixed. This one mixed a lot more bubbly, so I'm a little nervous about it, but the alcohol ink will start to remove some of the bubbles too, plus I'm going to put more alcohol over it. I'll spritz it again. Good. So, but I do want my mold mostly filled before I do this. So I'm just going to mix those in. And this should be pretty sheer because I did not use a lot of mica. And hopefully the plants will stay tucked. I probably could have um, poured the clear layer, put them in, and then waited for it to cure, but... I kind of want to see if this can be done in a one and done for this mold because it's not terribly thick it should be fine for the resin and I just want a hint of color I don't want anything overwhelming so that should be good I'm gonna try and poke these down again I'm also hoping that the dye I used in these Queen Anne's lace doesn't come off into the resin, but so far it looks okay. Alright, so I'm just going to swirl a little bit in and around. Maybe right over the edge in some places.
I just don't want it like heavily concentrated anywhere. I'm going to take the stick and swirl it in a little bit. Try and swirl it a little over the tops of the plants. I should have put this fern the other way. But it is too late now. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the colored inks. These will kind of blend themselves in more, so. And they may darken up and do another round of purple in a minute. Go ahead and do another cup of the purple because I do still have a little bit more room in the mold and I want maybe a tiny bit more saturated. Normally when I mix ink in a mold, the bubbles come out pretty quick, but not so much on this resin, so we'll see. I think this is the kind of mold, though, that a couple of bubbles aren't really going to hurt it. So that is a tiny bit up over the edge now, I think. So it shouldn't have any rough edges when it's done. I'm going to get down kind of an eye level with it and see. So I'm going to give the whole good thing a good spritz with the ink or the alcohol. And you can see it's taking the bubbles. And I'm going to watch this for a bit. I'm going to continue to poke these edges down every little bit. I'm kind of tempted to pull the whole thing out and flip it. But I'm just going to continue like I said. To poke them down, as the resin starts to harden, it'll hold it down a little bit more. Um, but that's pretty good, and I will be back when it is time to unmold it. Okay, I'm going to pull this out of the mold. I do have a couple of little pokey bits that I will probably... Um, top coat at some point but I want to see it came out clean it's always a good thing I love it it's very cool just a little white shimmer it's got a slight tint from the color But you can see where it's got the little bits. But 
if you want it, it could be a functional piece or it could just sit in a stand, whichever. I like it a lot. There's not a ton of bubbles in it for how many I started with. It's actually pretty firm already, so I'm pretty pleased with that resin that I used. So, there's that. And I will go ahead and list the supplies list in the bottom description to what I used. But that's it. Thank you.